Hi Facebook, uh, it's Jerry. I'm coming to you live today from Rhythmia in Guanacaste, Costa Rica. Um, we're at Rhythmia Life Advancement Center, Rhythmia, and uh, we're a center that specializes in, uh, hey Jen Sedini, we're a center that specializes in, in uh, a particular type of treatment that involves uh, sacred plant medicine, metaphysical teachings, and, uh, and just a bunch of good stuff in one place. And what makes us unique is we have this miracle that happens here. And the miracle, hey Sean, the miracle happens every week. Uh, and it's really, 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 really real. Uh, and, and to give you a little like, background on it, my name is Jerry and I'm from, um, I was born in Pennsylvania. I had a, a very strange life. I became a multi, 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 multi-millionaire. Um, it was worth about 80, 89 million dollars uh, at one time and my life was terrible and, and when I say terrible I was suicidal, I tried to commit suicide two times, I could not find happiness no matter what I did and through this miracle of plant medicine and a trip to Costa Rica I got happy and I got happy and I've been happy since and it sounds crazy but, but true and, and this miracle, hey Sharon this miracle re really, 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 really is real. And it really happens and it happens every week. And how do I know it happens? Here's how. When guests check out or give an electronic survey and they, with how was the room, how was the food, blah, blah, blah. And the last question is, did you receive your miracle while you were here? And right now, 975 out of 1,000 people get the exact same miracle. Uh, Read about this online. Go to TripAdvisor Rhythmia and see what the last 500 people uh, that have been here are saying about this place. And at any time throughout this, I want you to call this number 866-936-9446. If you have a question, ask one of our operators. Uh, I'll give you an idea. We had 85 people here this week. Uh, almost every week that we're here, we have between 60 and 80 people. Uh, weeks are selling out so far in advance, like please call and get yourself in here. And here's the particular type of miracle that I'm talking about. So what, the, what we were shown from plant medicine is that when you're born, you are here within, within your soul and, and yourself, and then something happened to you between when you were conceived and five years old, and you left your soul, stayed within your aura, but left your soul and have been acting out of here since then. And you become something else. And, and the, the crazy thing is, is that uh, all disease, all addictions, and all disorders are a result of this split. And I can tell you this is true. I can tell you this is true, and I can prove it. And, and because we have uh, about 3,700 people through the doors that have proven this, that this thing happens and happens here. And when we put this together, what, what uh, in the past, when from this split, something is, is left in your subconscious and it says I'm not enough. And how does that outpicture? In your life, when you're going through your life, that, that split of I'm not enough, uh, you know, the job gets going great and then you have a problem in your relationship. Your relationship is going great and you have a problem with the job or, or a family problem. And everything doesn't seem to work together all at one time. But I can tell you, when you put it back together, when you put it back together, everything starts clicking and life goes on smoothly. And I can promise you this. And, and you, can, you can do these amazing things. So every week out of our guests, uh, I pick one guest who has uh, something unique that happened to them during this week and we talk to them about it. Hey, Dio, and hi, Belinda, hi, Aaron. And we talk to them about it. And I'm gonna ask you guys something. Please share this because this next lady is amazing. And the thing that happened to her while she was here is amazing. So, and, and so please share this. Press the share button now and you'll help me out a lot. Come and join me here, Amanda. Um, please sit down and, and, and welcome, to, welcome to I Got My Miracle. This is Amanda and she's beautiful and glowing and I call her Ananda, but it's Amanda. <laughs> Uh, and where are you from? Uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. And you can look and see me right in here. Yes. You're from Charlotte, North Carolina. Yes. And what do you do in Charlotte? 
uh, a yoga teacher. You're a yoga teacher, mm -hmm. huh? And and uh, I always ask people what drew them to Rhythmia. Your story is really, really amazing to me uh, because uh, she's had a lot of sadness in, in the past year. And, and so tell us about what brought you here, if you, if you can. Yeah, so 10 months ago I lost my husband. Um, he died suddenly and unexpectedly. It sent shockwaves through my whole system where I literally felt like I exploded in tiny little pieces. Um, and I developed PTSD as a result. Um, and for months I've just been trying to get back to a state of what I call normal, but I realized that I couldn't go back to normal because normal didn't exist anymore. Um, I suffered intensely with the PTSD and my neurotransmitters were all helter-skelter um, as a result. Um, tried some natural things and so before coming here I was in serotonin and GABA. Um, but I kept having this calling to come to Costa Rica and I didn't know which part of Costa Rica. Um, I'd been here previously two times, not to Rhythmia, but in other places. Uh -huh. And um, and just speak loud as loud as you can because okay. they want to hear you. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. um, and so it wasn't until I actually went to my chiropractor that he was telling me that a patient of his went to Rhythmia. And as soon as he said that, I realized that is the place I needed to go to. Um, because I've heard of Rhythmia before and I knew instantaneously that I had to come. And so I did. I went home and I booked and I came. Um, and so the process since coming uh, here on Sunday has been amazing. Um, uh -huh. So lots of anxiousness. I mean, um, in all honesty, I felt anxious because, again, I've been living with intense fear. There's been fear of death um, because of how sudden my husband died and the veil of time falling away. Um, lots of anxiousness, a lot of negative thinking. Um, and can I tell you something? Yeah. You were so, she was so ridden with pain that she was actually detached. And so when I saw her, I thought, oh my God, um, I wonder what this woman's here for because she she didn't seem sad or happy or anything. And I said, so then I started asking some questions to the staff and they said, oh, this is this lady's story. And I said, wow, that's, that's amazing. Can you hear me? Can you guys hear? Can you hear us well enough there? Um, is this loud enough? I just need somebody to tell me yes, uh, because we're trying to make it so that it's loud enough. Uh, let me let me check and see if there's volume here. Okay, yeah, good. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, so so when she came, I was like, uh, that, this poor lady. She's not even sad about this, is what I thought. Mm -hmm. And then and then I saw her, and I I I you could immediately see that a light had been blown out, that her her candle was extinguished. And um, and so, what what happens here with me? Can I ask this? When you first got here, mm -hmm. what did you think of the visual, like the place? The place was nice. Uh huh. Yeah. And and were you afraid? Um, I was afraid of the unknown of what would happen. Uh huh. Yeah. I mean, uh -huh. it wasn't my first time with ayahuasca. I'd done it once before with a pilgrimage I went with ladies in Peru. Uh huh. But that was 2014, and so I'd never really been in an intense structured um, mm. process like this before, so there was a lot of anxiousness. And so in addition to your husband, though, you lost mm -hmm. your another friend? I lost my mom uh, three years ago, coming up in three years. Uh-huh. Um, and, so, and how long were you with your husband? 24 years. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, I mean, it was a great heartbreak. Oh, I know. it was a tremendous I know. heartbreak, yeah. And so, so when she got here, she was, you know, out of sorts, so to speak, and and yet not showing it at all, not showing it. So, so I expected that she would be very, very upset and everything, but she wasn't. So you go to my class and you think this guy is fucking crazy. Uh, yeah. Yes. Huh? Oh yeah. Uh huh. And and I start talking about this thing about the split and how it affects your life, mm -hmm. and in that we come here to do three things at Rhythmia. I tell them that they're all light workers and light warriors because that's what I was told. And they're here to do three things. To discover who they become, to merge back with their soul, and to heal their heart. And you heard this and what did you think? Um, I believed it because okay. it's, it's information that I'm already privy to. And um, outside of having trauma from losing my husband, I'd also been molested as a child. Uh -huh. And so I know that when things, traumatic things like that happen, that splits do occur. 
um, but I've never had this merging of um, souls coming back together. Yeah, so that part um, definitely intrigued me. So, and I just want to say hi, hi to Midnight. Midnight says thanks <laughs> me too. I lost my financee. He committed suicide before. My fiance, Charlie Dietz, my old friend. Hi, Charlie. I know you're missing your dad. Uh, you know everything's cool on the other yeah. side. We were just over there, and we'll tell you about that in a minute. <laughs> so, so I mean, so you, you come to the classes, and then all the time, all of a sudden, it's time to to oh, Foster and Kimberly Gamble mm -hmm. were here this week, and they have a good workshop, and they're wonderful folks. And all of a sudden, it's time to go and, and drink some medicine. So you get ready, yeah. and you go up the hill, yeah. and tell me what happens the first night. Uh, I mean. Of course, my heart is beating very fast, and again, I'm anxious um, because I'm, I don't know what to expect, and I didn't have any expectations. Um, so I took the medicine, and um, I waited. Um, and the first, the first night was amazing because I felt like I was transported back to Africa. Uh -huh. um, Talk about that. Yeah, well. and so I... I felt as if I was in, and it was, I asked which part of Africa I was in, and it said Tanzania, and I could see the tree of life. And, um, and I can see myself, I couldn't see myself, but I could feel myself as a medicine woman in Africa um, many, many uh, moons ago. And the tree of life was actually speaking to me and telling me they have forgotten my name, they have forgotten my shape, they have forgotten my face. Tell them to remember me. Wow. And mm. So it was. It was a very powerful, powerful moment for me, um, and in that moment, you know, I, I didn't go into um, wanting to know what a li what my life purpose is, even though I've had glimpses of that. But um, it also came to me that how important ceremony is to reconnect, uh -huh. not just myself, but for all of us to be re reconnected back to the tree of life. Uh huh. Um, and then my intention for that night was just to know, just to see who I've become. And um, it was a very funny and very interesting process because my ego, um, or maybe it was my soul or, or part of myself, um, told me that I hide behind my knowledge. Uh huh. Yeah. And to so, keep yourself small. Yeah. So, uh -huh. so it was calling me. It kept calling me. Oh, you were the knower of shit. Uh huh. <laughs> right? I love like, that. You know nothing. What uh -huh. do you know? I love uh, yeah. that. Yeah, and, um, and it was so real, and, and I knew that. I knew that about myself, right, because I, I hide behind all the things that I know. I'm a massage therapist. I teach yoga and all these different knowledge that I've accumulated. And then I heard the voice of, um, of the mother, and she said, and, and God, and... The, the mother she's talking about is Mother Ayahuasca. Mother Ayahuasca. Uh -huh. And what and did she say? The message you? was, when you think you know, you can't see me. Unknown. <sighs> Ah. You can't see me when you know because your knowledge blocks me from you. And I ah. thought that was so profound. And uh -huh. I think you mentioned it um, today or previous day. Sometimes we have to unlearn the, the things that thing. we know. We have to unlearn the whole thing uh -huh. and then come back fresh and new like babies. Uh -huh. yeah. and, so. And, so, and so let me <laughs> ask you that night. How beautiful is she, by the way? How alive? Like So, so that night, did you throw up? No. Uh-huh. No. Did you throw up any night? Fourth night. Okay, so we'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> yeah. So, okay, so the next day, more classes, uh, a little yoga, blah, 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 mm -hmm. blah, blah, a little meditation class, a little workshop from mm -hmm. me, and integration, and then, boom, it's time to drink medicine again. And, and, and on Tuesday night, the medicine we drink is, uh, is brewed here, mm -hmm. and it, it's a deeper medicine. And so, hi, Mom. My mom <laughs> just... Hi, Mom. I love Hi, you, Mom. Mom. Hi. Uh, uh, and tell us about the medicine on Tuesday night now. So Tuesday night, my intention was to merge back with my soul because uh -huh. Monday was all about getting to know who I've become. Um, and so Tuesday was a really profound moment for me because I went into medicine a bit more trusting than I did on Monday night. So some of the anxiousness started to um, peel away. Um, and it was so beautiful because Mother Ayahuasca, right away she began to show me, like she pulled out, out of me, all of my baggage. But the baggage looked like junk furniture. Really? Right? So ah. she, had this, she had it stacked one on top of the other until it created this huge mountain pile. And I thought, well, wow, that's, that's very interesting. Um, my, my baggage is a junk, just a pile of junk furniture, <laughs> like Sanford and Son, right? You see all that junk in there? So that's what my junk looked like. 
And she asked me, uh, would I like to keep it? I was like, no, please take it. And so she did, and she pulled it out of me. And right away, instantaneously, I felt a lightness in my body that I hadn't felt. Mm. And I completely surrendered into that lightness, and it felt so good. And I could feel it, that heaviness had been lifted. And, um, and then moments after that, she had this gift, and it was gift-wrapped. Beautiful colors. And then as she un wrapped the bow it was this beautiful golden light that was pulled into me how beautiful and as that light came into me i just felt my body just rippled in sensations with that light and uh -huh. so i feel for me that was the merging of my soul coming back how beautiful yeah. and what a beautiful representation of it right and i remember seeing you the next morning mm -hmm. and you were like this <laughs> and I thought, uh oh, something happened. I didn't even get to ask you. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, so now Wednesday rolls around and we do Brazilian medicine on Wednesday mm -hmm. and it's ladies' night here. Mm -hmm. And so tell me how Wednesday, what, what, what happened? Wednesday? So Wednesday was probably my toughest night. I felt very, with taking the medicine, I felt very uncomfortable in my body. Um, but Wednesday showed meaning, me. So for them, meaning you drank it and felt like there might be poison a little bit, like that kind yeah, of feeling a little bit? Just not necessarily the taste of it, but just when the medicine became active inside of me, uh -huh. um, I started to feel a lot of sensations in my chest. Uh -huh. And throughout this Uncomfortable whole, sensations. Just like very pain. uncomfortable sensations, uh -huh. a lot of pain. So I started feeling it in my chest okay. and my temple um, started throbbing so much. And I just really felt like I was going to die pretty much. Uh -huh. um, because throughout this whole process of going through this trauma of losing my husband, you know, I've been thinking, okay, I I'm going to die. I'm going to have this death experience. Um, and so I started to feel that in um, this third night session. And there was nothing that I could really do. I just have to allow myself to keep trusting with it and keep loving myself because that's certainly been... Um, you know, a process over the years. So let me ask you this. Yeah. So, so in dealing with this, and usually that's a sign on, on ladies night, that's usually a block on your feminine side when you're having a hard mm -hmm. time that night. Mm -hmm. And, and so you start the, this mm -hmm. thing, interesting, right? Yeah. And now, and now the second drink comes, mm -hmm. uh-huh. And do you pass on it or do you drink it? Oh no, I drank it. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Cause she's a trooper. Cause it takes, <laughs> It takes some chutzpah, gotta, as they say, to drink that second drink sometimes. I gotta tell you, Jerry is so right with that. So the second drink always intimidates me. And after the first drink, I always say, no, I'm not going to go for a second drink. But I said, you know, I'm here for a reason. I'm not here to punk out. And uh -huh. I'm going to get up and I'm going to go and face whatever needs to be faced. So you drink the second drink. You're already having some funky body feelings. Mm -hmm. You drink the second drink. You go lay down in what? Um, well, after that second drink, things did change um, considerably for me. Um, I started to really fall into this trust um, with the medicine and with the things that were being shown to me. Uh -huh. And pretty much that second drink, again, there was more healing taking place. And there was a lot of um, sensations taking place in my mouth. Uh huh. And so there was some, of course, sensation in my teeth and in uh -huh. my jaw. But the most interesting thing, it felt as if someone was doing surgery under my tongue. Ah, interesting. Yeah, and uh -huh. I've never had that experience uh -huh. before. And, and, and <clears throat> did that represent some, some throat chakra things well, to abs you? Absolutely, uh -huh. right? Because uh -huh. before, you know, frequently in my life of being molest molested and things of that nature, I have kept my truth stuff down. Uh -huh. And so there's uh -huh. been this element for me that I haven't allowed myself to speak my truth. And so, so if you just joined, I just want to tell you, Amanda's our, our guest today, and uh, she was married to her husband, who she loved deeply for 24 years, who passed away un unexpectedly uh, just 10 months ago. She was molested as a child, and she still came here and had this presence that we couldn't stop. And so she's talking about her plant journeys. So that was night three. Correct. Did you get sick yet by then? No? Diarrhea? No, so that's a gift. She had three <laughs> gift nights. I and did. then and then on her final night, which is Colombian night here, where we drink a medicine called Yehe, and it's um it's a uh, a medicine that's brewed in a in a particular way that's a little different. It's all ayahuasca. Uh but we drink it and it has a consistency that's kind of interesting Very to drink. Very viscous. Uh-huh. Yeah, so and, and gr grainy. Grainy. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah it's perfect. Most horrible thing ever. It's horrible. It's not. <laughs> it doesn't taste good. No. So anyway, she drinks the medicine, and I was up there that night. Mm -hmm. I went and I drank the medicine too. And uh, tell me about your night this night. Well, night four. So even leading into. Uh, well, I just want to say, up to mm -hmm. now, you've merged back with your soul. Right. Uh huh. Has your heart been healed yet? No. Okay. That, yeah. So let's go. So Thursday night. So Thursday night, I, I came and I, again, I had a lot of anxiousness because something kept telling me that something was going to happen tonight. Uh -huh. I hadn't puked. That pretty much, it's been a, a fair, fairly good ride. <laughs> um, and so my first cup, um, it was great. Um, didn't have a whole lot happen to me. I was like, oh, this yahe, you know, it's it's okay. I'm, I'm probably not going to get a whole lot um, with it. And second cup called and, you know, um, he asked Mitra, the shaman, um, anything happened? I was like, no, not really. <laughs> and he turns around and gives me a cup and whispers something into the cup. And I was like, okay, let's see. Oh my God, that second cup just completely blew me away. away. Uh -huh. I mean, it did things to me that I, it's hard to even express into words things that happened. Um, I did purge in the second cup, and it's so interesting because the, the visions of, of the, the mama ayahuasca as a serpent was working its way. Like I could see that energy moving up into me, and it actually pulled me up into a seated position. And uh -huh. I just purged, like it was this bitterness of the last 10 months, and maybe beyond just even losing my husband, the traumas of everything else in my mm -hmm. childhood came up. But the fireworks really began after I purged. Um, I laid back in bed and I started speaking in tongues like I had no control I don't even know what I was saying but all of this action in my mouth of saying things in my mouth and I for me that represented all the things that I never said uh -huh. that I never expressed so all of your unexpressed out. emotions were getting put into this yes. love language that was getting fired into the universe as a way of healing those unexpressed yes, things. Yes, absolutely. Beautiful. And beautiful. beyond beyond just words, my face, like Mama Ayahuasca was contorting my face into these different shapes and, and, and gestures with my mouth. And again, all of the unexpressed emotions that I never allowed myself to express. And she wouldn't ease up with the tension in my face until I came to recognizing what that particular emotion was and offering it love. And so uh -huh. every time I would offer it love, it would subside, and then another one would enter in. And it was the most craziest thing ever because <laughs> I've never, ever experienced anything like that in my life. And, and that was your heart healing? That was part of the heart healing. Uh -huh. And tell us the rest of the heart. Well, so the rest of it really after, um, I don't even know how long I was there because time just really disappears. Um, but after everything had moved, the, the speaking in tongues, the, the, the language with, or the, the shapes of my face and mouth, um, all of that suddenly just disappeared. And what happened was this inner child came out. And in that moment, there was just an explosion of bliss. Um, just this blissful, ecstatic feeling, and I could hear the birds flying and all of a sudden I'm having conversations with these birds and I can see their color <laughs> even though I'm not watching the birds because I'm in my cot with my eyes closed but I can see green energy and they're speaking to me and I'm speaking to them and I'm laughing like a child uh -huh. um, and just the most ecstatic blissful joyful feeling overtook me and um, and I've never felt I want to call it ecstasy because it was even beyond um, just pure happiness and joy um, it was uh, almost, it was as if something released inside of me that or I've seen something that I hadn't seen in such a long time which mm -hmm. is just this pure innocence of my inner child and um, anyone who's been molested knows that one of the things that you grew up with is the shame yeah. um, you, loss of your innocence yeah. um, and I felt that that particular night, that night four, gave me back these gifts. The gift mm -hmm. of my innocence, the gift of pure joy, of knowing how connected I am to all source. Uh -huh. To the Pachamama and to everything else. Because when I saw you the next morning, mm -hmm. it was yeah. like seeing an angel. <laughs> I thought, I, you know, for a second when you see someone, and so like this week there were 85 guests. And so you see someone, you think, oh, I mm -hmm. saw her, I know who she is. 
And then when I saw you, it was like I saw you for the first time. And I said to, to uh, Scott, I said, Scott, is she fucking beautiful? Like I couldn't, uh, excuse my ass, but I couldn't get over how beautiful you were like a vision. It was just amazing. And then I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew it was put back together. And I knew because your smile was from in your stomach. You were smiling from a place that you just can't, yeah. like fake. No, you can't it's fake that. It's this place yeah. you were smiling from. And I was like, well, we got her. And I was very, <laughs> very, very happy because I was, I was pulling for you all week. Uh, and so, so this thing happened and I, I want to ask your personal opinion. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you've been in a practice, you're mm -hmm. an instructor in yoga, you've, you've, you've been in a spiritual path mm -hmm. or something. Like, and so you saw yourself heal and, and you thought, oh, well, that makes sense because, you know, I'm an accomplished person at this stuff. Correct. So this week, our youngest guest was 18 years old and our oldest guest I'm going to say was late 70s, 70s, I would say. 70s, mm -hmm. uh-huh, and, and, and almost every single one, the same thing happens to. Yeah. Now, was that shocking to you? No, really, I was shocked because uh -huh. I wasn't expecting such a phenomenal um, incident to happen to me, to be uh -huh. honest with you. Uh -huh. I knew maybe something would happen, but I had no expectations that... Some, that I'd be given such a gift and it really is a gift it's, it it's a fantastic a gift, gift. Yeah. Um, and, and I'm so happy that I came and I'm happy that I took a chance on myself and I'm happy that my soul there was something inside of me that was guiding me to come for this gift um, and so it's, it's just been a, a miraculous week and, and the week has been a week of trust which has been a difficult thing for me to do um, and trust in trust in people and just sometimes trust in life in and of itself mm -hmm. and every day that I walked to ceremony was an act of walking into trust and I take that away with me too that I can walk towards fear and know that I'm going to be okay you're going to be so okay yeah. and I want to tell you what you're such a flower mm -hmm. that I watched you I watched like I get the 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 great mm -hmm. gift of being able to do this every week I watch people open up right in front of my eyes and and she is now ready to love and and when I say ready to love I mean ready to love everything because she's she's had such a hard time and so much pain and so much sorrow yes. and we're so happy because it's all brand new and this is the thing you know it sounds like a bunch of bullshit how could someplace make me all brand new but it happens and it happens to everyone. And we want you guys to come and to experience this. My life was over. I was ready to take my life. My son, who I love with all my heart, is watching right now. And, and, and he knows the dark place that I was in. Uh, I was the next Anthony Bourdain. I was, I was going to do myself. And, and I had tried twice and it didn't work. And this stuff came in and showed me what joy is and, and, and showed me that I had to do it um, for other people. And this is my greatest gift, is be able to be able to see this. Not gift to give, gift I get. Right. I get to see this and to see these people every friggin' week. Same thing, same result. And, uh, and then I get to hear from them when they're back uh, in life. When they're back in life doing what they do and they write me and say, mm -hmm. hey, this thing is it it changed my life i'm sending my sister i'm sending my mother i'm sending my kid i'm sending and how many uh people did you see this week that somebody else had referred them to you oh absolutely like almost everybody absolutely. right there's a lot of people and really you know you can take jerry's word or you cannot take his word but the people that I met this week and just to listen to their experiences and you know I'm not being paid to say anything but it's real what happened to them and their experiences that they go through is just phenomenal the healing that they've received and I think we're all called for healing at some point in our lives and it's just us having the courage um, to get up and actually walk towards that healing um, but yes it, it's it happened for real and I, I mean I want to ask you something Kathy just wrote I want to go so bad but I'm scared what would you say to her 
I would say don't be afraid. Walk towards your fear. Because what I've recognized about fear is that there's something, there's a transformation waiting for me. And maybe my ego is aware of that and it's trying to create a blockage. Um, so I would say don't be afraid. Walk towards your healing. Walk uh -huh. towards your new path. Walk towards transformation. Walk towards transition and into the most amazing life that you know is waiting for you. And I've had to do this for myself um, so many times, but this was the first step of actually walking towards uh, what I knew wouldn't be an easy path, um, but it's the right path. It was the right path for me. And, um, and, and fear cannot trump love because deep down inside of each of us um, sits the seed of love that's just waiting to be activated. We are that already. We've always been that, but we've forgotten. And so this experience that we've all gone through is an experience of remembrance. It's simply uh -huh. we are remembering uh -huh. who we are because we've forgotten who we are. Isn't it so crazy? Yeah. I want to ask you something. So isn't it so crazy when you drink the medicine and the guy drink it for the first time? And he said this today, if you were in this and you're listening and closing, he said to me that when he drank it, he remembered that he'd been there before. Yes. And this is the yes. thing of pure love, yes. that, that when you see that pure love, you're not shocked by it. Right. You just go, holy shit, <laughs> I know what that is. Yes. I, I come from this. Yes. And you know it. You and know. That's, the, that's the beautiful thing. And that's why when you go home from here, and you go home and having seen it freshly, mm -hmm. not... I, I'm not going to ask you how old you are because it would be no, wrong. That's fine. No, I'm 47. Not 47 <laughs> years ago, but you saw it last week, and now all of a sudden you're good to go for a, for a real long time. And, mm -hmm. and, and it it's like muscle memory. That happiness, that tone, that feeling tone, all of a sudden got revitalized, and you know where it is. Mm -hmm. So you can just sit there and in a minute get back to that tone. Oh, yeah. So you're ready to go. And I'm going to tell you what. You were a wonderful, wonderful guest. And you know Thank that you. I was always running <laughs> behind you and saying, hey, how you doing? What's going on? Mm -hmm. da, 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 da. Mm -hmm. Because I saw in there this overwhelming beauty, mm -hmm. this, this true connection with spirit. Mm -hmm. And you got it. Yeah. And, and my God, do you have it. And yeah. you, you're really, you're ready to go. Yeah. Um, fantastic, man. So... By all means, please share this video because there's people out there, almost everyone is in some form of pain. And now your, your, yours was a big thing. She lost her husband 10 months ago, who she loved for 24 years. That's a peak pain moment. Most of us are constantly in some form of pain. Yeah. And so please share this video. And, 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 and if you're having pain, I want you to know this, that you don't have to. Your pain, you're choosing that pain, and, and if that pain drives you to come to a place like this, to reunite with your soul, then it was all worth it. Because mm -hmm. the feeling, this is the, the greatest thing that the medicine brings. Everything that's been taken from you is given back to you in that second, and you're boom. <laughs> so please, 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 by all means, dial this number, 866-936-9446, Book in and come down here and have this happen to you. Have it happen to you. And uh, we, we love you guys. Thank you so You're much so for welcome. sharing your beauty yeah. with us and Thank your you. experience and Thank having you. the guts to come to a place yeah. like this and to do this thing. We love you. And I will see you guys next week. Uh, we're going to talk to you next week. And, and uh, by all means, have a blessed week. Uh, stay in touch with your love. Stay in touch with your soul and leave yourself alone until you get here. Mm -hmm. uh, we love you and I'll see you at Rhythmia. Bye. Bye now.